This whole project is a family affair. And I don't like to name it hotel because I always um, felt it's more of a guest house. We never uh, woke up and decided to buy a prison and run a hotel. It's the kind of story that you just grow into. You know, when we first entered the place, it was derelict from 1985, and it was all peace and gloominess. It was like a dark and cold place, and the only thing that was kind of romantic in a way was like wild ivy growing up on the facades. So that is one of the points we tried to pick up on and make it into a big and wild garden so that the kind of positive energy that comes from something growing is allowed to expand on the premises. And this is something which is very special in a dense city center, such a place of relaxation and silence. And, you, well, and well-being. And well-being, yes. And it's not only the garden where we unseal the courtyard, but also if you look down from the terrace, you can see that we also put plants on all the roof surfaces. It was very important for us to build the penthouse level and the terrace because only with elements of contemporary architectural expression you can really enjoy and value the historic monumental qualities. The courthouse and the prison, they were one of the first buildings erected here in Berlin Charlottenburg because this quarter was built in one go in the beginning of 1900. And before they started to build the houses, they built the prison and the courthouse. The biggest challenge was obviously to turn around the spirit of this space, a former prison into a joyful, welcoming place of hospitality. The transformation of light perception was one of the key elements here. The guidance of light. It used to be a space of darkness, and we turned it into a space of light. And what you need to do for that, you have to create light at high level uh, in the atrium space, or um, if you enter the rooms, the windows, they have to be at eye level. So what we did, we cut open the window opening and left the bars. And now you can have a clear sight out of the window. And we put in the windowsill, which was like 380 kilograms. We we're sliding it back on again, so you don't really see it. Sometimes people think we just cut the bars, but uh, we have done the exercise of opening the window opening. The bathrooms of Elmina, they had a simple and clear concept. We used authentic materials, reduced colors to create a light and joyful atmosphere. Yeah, we choose better because better is using steel. It's a real material, it's not plastic and it's coated, and it's the way the bathtubs used to be in the past and will still be in the future. So for the classical hotel rooms, we merged two rooms into the bedroom unit and one um, is transformed into the bathroom. All the cells have different dimensions in the width and with Better we found a great partner who can tailor make these on-floor shower trays. This is a very special bathroom because it has extra width, so we were allowed to bring in a bathtub, like a classical bathtub, where you can enjoy a shower and a bath. So for this room at the end of the corridor, we decided to integrate the bathtub into the main room. And because it was part of the interior of the main room, we wanted to have like a very elegant wash basin that is more like a delicate object. The biggest challenge was that we have so many walls here. For the first two years, we cut walls. There weren't big spaces here because that was a building of separation. There weren't any common spaces in a bigger size. So one of the first things we did, we covered one of the courtyards, the space where the restaurant is right now. And when you're in the restaurant, you can feel that you're enclosed by exterior walls that have been exposed to wind and weather for many centuries. It's a very ambivalent atmosphere that we like a lot. And here we come to this little extension space, which is part of the bar. And on one hand side, you see the beautiful green garden, which is mirrored and it increases the space enormously. 
This creates a very special atmosphere. And the daylight comes through the garden. 